सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम टू माई नेक्स्ट ऑनलाइन क्लास एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज प्रेसर इन फ्लू ओके सो यू सी आई हैव नोटेड ऑन फ्यू पॉइंट्स हेयर सो वन बाई वन विल गो थ्रू द पॉइंट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो एट द एंड आई विल बी आस्किंग फ्यू क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो दैट क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो यू नीड टू राइट इन योर टेक्सट बुक सो डू व्यू द video completely okay do not skip the video so let's start our today's class so first topic we have thrust and pressure so what is thrust and what is pressure here you see suppose you have one vessel and the vessel is containing water and gently you have placed an object on the surface of the liquid so the weight of that object is the force which is acting perpendicularly in that liquid okay that means that object is exerting force on that liquid so that is nothing but a thrust that means force acting normally on a surface is called thrust okay now that thrust depends upon the surface on which it is exerting the force that means object force is exerting on what surface that object where you have placed whether it be liquid or whether it be solid so it depends upon the area so therefore pressure is defined as thrust acting per unit area so thrust by area is pressure whereas thrust is the force acting normally on the surface now when i say pressure pressure equals to force per unit area and this force means thrust so thrust and force is same but the force acting normally on a surface is called thrust force acting normally on a surface is called thrust whereas thrust per unit area is called pressure in our junior classes we have learned how pressure and area of cross section are related to each other they are inversely proportional to each other we have seen various examples in class 8 we have gone through this chapter we had this chapter and we have seen that if area of cross section is very small that means pressure exerted will be more like for example is knife if the knife is very blunt then it will not cut the vegetable easily but whereas it is very sharp then it will cut easily moreover your your straps of your this uh, school bag now if it is very thick then it will exert a less force so it will less hurt your uh, shoulder whereas if the thin if the strips are very thin then it will exert more pressure okay so therefore pressure and area are inversely proportional to each other that was pressure and area so here pressure equals to thrust per unit area thrust means here force now what is the unit of pressure here you see force when i say that is newton and area when i say that is meter square that means newton or newton per meter square we can say this one so this is the as a unit or we can say pascal that is pa it is denoted by capital b small a pascal okay now what is the cgs unit of pressure then that is force means here it will be dyne and area means here centimeter square so we say or dyne per centimeter square so this is the cgs unit of pressure and this is the si unit of pressure okay so in si unit we can say that is pascal or newton per meter square and in cgs unit we will we'll be saying that it is dyne per centimeter square so this was all about thrust pressure and units of pressure next we have pressure in fluid so what is fluid actually fluids are the substances which has an ability to flow so not only solid is exerting pressure on a surface definitely this liquid and gases they also exert pressure like in a vessel when a it is contained with either gas or liquid that liquid is exerting pressure on all the walls of the container not only in the bottom but also at the sides that pressure we call it as lateral pressure that means the pressure exerted by the fluid on the outer walls of the container is called here lateral pressure so due to lateral pressure only if you pierce a hole in that container the substance will be coming out okay so with a single pressure so now if you pierce a hole in each and every side of that container the pressure will remain same if it is at same height but if the hole which you have made 
are at different position that means pressure will also vary that means pressure also depends upon depth that one will come more detail in further topics you see pressure within a liquid when you are immersing your hand in a bucket containing water to a different depth you will find or you will experience a pressure at different depth of the liquid that means if you go increasing the depth means if you increase the depth of the liquid that means pressure will increase that means pressure increases with depth okay you see let me give one example like for example you see the dam the dam foundation is made very thick at the bottom whereas it is made very thin at the edges okay so you know dams are the constructions where we store water for producing electricity and generally we do it in hydropower electricity that is stations and all so large construction has been done where water is being stored so while constructing a dam we have to keep it in mind that the base or the foundation should be made very strong if it is not made very strong then it cannot withstand high pressure so when the water is contained in a dam and if the base or foundation is not made strong then easily it can break so therefore as the dam is having very high that means the depth is very high so the foundation is made very strong so from here we come to know that means if the depth of the liquid is more that liquid pressure will be also more and it is less at the surface okay so if when you are swimming also in the sea or in a ocean if you find that the liquid pressure as you go more depth liquid pressure will be more than at the surface so next we have manometer now what is this manometer you see i have drawn a diagram here manometer so manometer is a device which is used to find a pressure of a gas contained in a vessel suppose there is one vessel and it is containing some gas now you need to means uh, measure how much pressure is there in that vessel of that gas that means that pressure of the gas can be measured by you using a device that name as manometer okay so i'll just explain you how we can measure the pressure of the gas okay you see this manometer has two arms okay and this manometer one end is connected with the gas whose pressure you have to measure and one end is just open where air pressure is acting now that manometer is contained with a liquid called mercury okay so mercury has a high density so generally in a barometer or any other instruments generally we prefer mercury only okay due to its many reasons due to its density due to its uh, shininess okay due to its availability so generally we use mercury only so in this manometer one end is connected with the gas vessel and one end is open and this manometer is contained with this uh, mercury now when you see when this gas when this one end of the gas is not connected to the vessel for example in the initial case i am talking about that then due to air pressure we will find that mercury level is same in both the arms okay when it is not connected with the gas vessel i repeat so the level of the mercury in both the arms will be same but as soon as this is connected with the gas vessel the pressure will be exerting here and due to this pressure the liquid in one arm will get decreased and the liquid the mercury in other arm will increase let us consider it as increase up to here okay so as this gas is exerting pressure on the surface that means the liquid in other arm is also increasing with that much with that much height so from here we can say the more the pressure more will be the height okay also it depends upon the density of the mercury that means this height will not be same if you pour this manometer with any other liquid like alcohol or water so that means this pressure depends upon height this pressure depends upon density and also it depends upon acceleration due to gravity also it depends upon the air pressure that is atmospheric pressure which we know air pressure means here atmospheric pressure okay so what is the total pressure of the gas then total pressure of the gas means atmospheric pressure that is pa 
and h rho g that means height so at what height the liquid has rest on the other arm what is the density of that mercury and the acceleration due to gravity right so this is the total pressure of a gas so in your screen you can see one diagram that is a pressure in liquid you see there is a vessel vessel is containing some liquid here and in that liquid i have considered one layer that is ab this ab layer is still okay when you are not moving the vessel that means ab layer is still this indicates that the pressure exerted by upper layer on that layer is equal to the pressure exerted by lower levels that means how much pressure is exerted from down to up same pressure is exerted from up to down so both the pressures are balanced so therefore a b layer is also balanced okay so at a certain point in a liquid the pressure is always balanced so this was the manometer which i was talking about so one end it is being connected with the gas whose uh, measure miss whose pressure you have to calculate and when it was not connected the liquid was at b and t that means liquid level was same but when it was connected with the gas due to pressure that means the liquid level has raised up so the total pressure of the gas equals to pressure of air that means atmospheric pressure plus height density and acceleration due to gravity so depth and pressure so i was talking about depth you see let us consider a vessel containing liquid and we have made three holes on the three layer so when you open all the nozzles of the th three openings you will find the water emerging from the hole which is near to the bottom covers more distance than that of the other holes right so this indicates that pressure increases with depth so more the depth that means water liquid now why the reason is here why it is more why the pressure at the hole near to the bottom is more than that uh, than that of the other because you see when the hole is here the water liquid above it has more weight so as it has more weight so it will exert more pressure so due to more pressure it will cover more distance okay but whereas you see this point the water above that hole is very less that means pressure will be less that means force will be less so due to which it will cover less distance so this was pressure equals to h rho g so this is a derivation of h rho g that means pressure depends upon height density and acceleration due to gravity so it is said here you have been taken a horizontal cylinder board body of area a and height h so you can see here this body is taken and it is being dipped in a container containing water okay so when it is dipped in here as you have seen in the diagram so there was one vessel and the vessel is containing some liquid and in that liquid one cylindrical body is immersed now we need to calculate this cylindrical body we exert how much pressure in this liquid okay so let us consider a be the area of this the body which is being dipped here this cylindrical body area is a let us consider its height is h okay and the density of this liquid is rho okay so we know volume equal to mass by or density equals to mass by volume now if we cross multiply mass that is mass equals to volume into density i repeat density when i say density equals to mass by volume but when i calculate mass that means density into volume now volume means here what is the unit of volume we know it is meter cube right so what we have done here how we have calculated volume here first we have calculated its area area what is the unit of area meter square what is the unit of height that is meter that is meter into meter square meter cube so in place of volume we can write a h a means area and h means height that is a h means here volume right and density of the liquid was rho so what we have got in place of m m equals to a h rho 
now we know whenever we are placing any object on the surface the force exerted by that object is equal to its weight so again that weight is equal to its thrust how much force it is exerting normally on that surface so therefore i have written here weight equals to thrust that means thrust means here weight of that object so weight means again m into g m was a h rho and g means acceleration due to gravity so total weight we got a h rho g right and weight means what thrust so pressure equals to thrust by area so in place of thrust i have substituted by the expression of weight because thrust and weight both are same so in place of thrust we wrote a h rho g now a and a got cancelled what we got h rho g that means pressure is directly proportional to height directly proportional to density and directly proportional to acceleration due to gravity but if i say what will be the total pressure that time the total pressure that means pt will be p0 plus h rho g okay what is p0 p0 is the atmospheric pressure okay so atmospheric pressure plus h rho g the pressure exerted by this object so this thing we have to know down so whether in the question it is asked total pressure or the pressure due to cylindrical body so in your screen uh, i will be showing the diagrams and i will explain here so that when you uh, refer your book you won't find difficult so experimental verification of laws of liquid pressure now what are the laws of liquid pressure that one we are going to explain so there are a number of laws are there so one by one we'll come to it so here first of all is what it has been done here so one container is there container is containing liquid here and one side it is connected with the threshold funnel okay this is the threshold funnel okay and it is connected with the manometer okay so we can understand what is the pressure of this fluid so already i told manometer is a device which is used to measure the pressure of a fluid that means it can be gas also it can be liquid also so one end of this manometer is connected with the threshold funnel so first law says that pressure is same in all the direction about a point in a liquid that means when you fix the threshold funnel at a fixed point and when you rotate the threshold fun funnel in left right like in different position if you move this threshold funnel then you'll find the pressure will not change the pressure will be same okay that means pressure is same in all direction about a point in a liquid or you can say like in this vessel if you make hole in same level that means pressure coming out from the three holes will be same okay so this was the pressure is same in all direction about a point in a liquid so this one already we know the liquid pressure depends upon density more the density more will be the force exertion then the pressure will change okay so how much pressure is exerted by mercury less pressure will be exerted by this water or alcohol so liquid pressure depends upon density because the weight of denser object is more than the weight of the lighter object so therefore liquid pressure is directly proportional to density of the liquid next we have liquid pressure depends on depth so already i told that more the depth more will be the liquid pressure that means liquid pressure increases with depth from the free surface of the liquid next we have pressure is same at all points in the horizontal plane in the liquid that means same here the pressure remains same at same horizontal plane at the same point also it remains same as well as same horizontal plane a liquid find its own level that means whatever may be the shape of the tube like you see in this diagram there is a connecting tubes and all the connecting tubes are of different shape and they are connected with a base which is containing liquid now the liquid level is same in each and every tube this indicates that it does not depend upon the shape of the tube okay so liquid seeks its own level whatever may be the shape of the tube which is immersed with the base the liquid level will be same consequences of pressure that means what is the result of pressure on liquid so generally we place our water tanks on the top of our terrace okay 
so because at higher level the water pressure will be more same uh, some problems we will see in few homes you see first of all the storage tanks are kept at height so if it is kept at height the pressure of the liquid running to our home will be nice similarly suppose uh, the water which is going from the ground floor to the upper floor if the height will be very more that means the pressure level will be very less when the water will move from ground to up but generally what we do we place the water supply at maximum height okay so more the height more will be the liquid pressure and conversely if the water is at ground level and you need to take to a top floor then you have to use pump in that case to compensate that height so this one already i have explained walls of a dam are thicker at the bottom so you see at the bottom it is thicker because the liquid pressure is more at the end not only the dam and these are divers means the swimmers those who are swimming and sea divers generally we call them as sea divers they use a special swimming suit okay to withstand the high pressure because if they don't wear such type of dress when they will go underneath the water so as there will be high pressure so they may face difficulty okay in a suffocation or there may be a bleeding from their blood vessels so to withstand this high pressure they use a special type of suit that is called divers suit now whatever question might come from here you see so why the sw uh, swimmers they use special suits that means that answer you need to find from here okay why the walls of a dam are made broad at the foundation at the base so this type of question in deep reason question you have to prepare why the water supply is kept at high level or why the water pump is used to pump a water from lower to high similarly explain how water seeks its own level so what are the laws of what are the laws of liquid pressure so one by one laws you have to explain okay just you need to write this topic or with the help of diagram you can explain okay so no need to write very detailedly here but the main thing like it is depending upon depth it depends upon density it depends upon this liquid pressure here at the same point it remains same at same horizontal plane it remains same so like this the topic wise you have to note down so next we have this most important of this chapter that is pascal's law so according to pascal's law pressure exerted in one end is transmitted equally in all direction so this law can be easily understood by this diagram let us consider there is a bulb and bulb is containing some liquid and it is connected with some piston like syringe and all like injection we see so like that one piston is connected now as it is connecting with liquid so each and every point i have made one hole and when i just push this plunger it has been seen that the pressure of liquid from each and every hole remains same so this indicates that when a pressure is applied in an enclosed vessel it transmitted equally in all direction that means pressure in a liquid remains same so if there is one vessel and that vessel is closed in one end and from one end you are applying pressure that pressure which you are applying will be transmitted equally in all direction so this was pascal's law so what is the advantage of this law this law is used in hydraulic machine like in garages and all it is used to lift the cars heavy objects heavy vehicles okay so by applying a small force in one end it exerts a large force on the other end okay so pressure exerting in area a that means a small area of cross section the pressure is said to be as p equals to f1 by a1 we know pressure equals to f by a what is the pressure exerting in piston a that is f1 by a1 what will be the pressure exerted at piston b that is f2 by a2 okay so in here that will be f2 by a2 it is misprinted here so we know the pressure remains same means whatever pressure will apply here same pressure will be transmitted here because they are connected to each other here so f1 by a1 equals to f2 by a2 but when you cross multiply f2 becomes f1 by a1 into a2 
so you see the force which is produced is the multiplication is in multiplication that means f1 by a1 whatever the value we had that pressure into area of cross section that means more will be the area that means in other end more will be the area of cross section more thicker than more pressure will be exerted so pascal's law states that when a pressure is exerted in an enclosed vessel it gets transmitted equally in all direction therefore force produced in smaller cross section produces a larger force in the other other end okay so this f1 by f2 by f1 equals to a2 by e1 or you can say f1 by e1 equals to f2 by a2 so same concept is being used here also that is hydraulic press so a small pressure is being applied here and the bale of cotton suppose in from the cotton the seeds you have to extract so this is used in a factory there so a small force is applied in one end and it produces a large force and due to which the cotton gets squeezed and the seeds or the oils easily comes out okay so this is a hydraulic press so how hydraulic press works so you need to draw the diagram and briefly you have to write about hydraulic press how hydraulic machine works so you need to draw the diagram diagram is must and you need to write briefly similarly we will be going through this hydraulic jack okay and hydraulic brake so you will draw the diagram and you will make a small note on this okay so i am leaving this one as a homework so today's question as i have already told i will be asking question at the end today's question is that why the tires of a heavy vehicles are very thick okay next question why a sharp knife is used for cutting the vegetables not the blunt knife why camel easily works on the sand or we call it as sheep of a desert what is the difference between thrust and pressure and how a hydraulic brake works so these questions also you have to include there okay and the exercise questions so few questions which i have already asked here you might see that they are already there in the exercise so these questions you have to do okay so this will remain as a homework so in the next class i will be solving few numericals here for you so this portion you need to complete okay if necessary you can make note in your exercise book also you remember i used to do in class 8 also i used to make you write the topic wise and the note wise as well as the question answers so same thing you will be doing here for till now thank you